Okay, this is uh, one of the boards that your Mendel printer comes with. This is an Arduino controller. It's an open source controller that you can program. I'm going to give you the code that runs it. You can make it run whatever. This actually is taking the place of a computer that would control uh, this uh, other board right here. So what happens is this goes on the side of this on top of the Mendel and what you do with this and this will come with this wired is you will plug in this cable into the CNC board and then you will plug in the ground connector from the USB port which is pin number 25 into the ground on this board then you will take uh, pin number 2 on the parallel port and put it on pin number 2 pin number 3 put it on pin number 3 Pin number four, put it on number four. Uh, pin number five, put it on pin number five. And uh, parallel, oops, excuse me. Pin number six, so on the parallel port cable, there's numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so pin number five to five, pin number six to six. seven to seven, eight to eight, and nine to nine. So the, 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 the uh, Arduino here is numbered uh, zero, one, all the way up to uh, 13 on this side. Then it has ground, and uh, it has some pins on the other side. So the reason for this Looks like I got a pin there. I need to re-solder. The reason for this is that uh, is how the software I have configured on here runs for the pins. Pins for the X control, the direction and step pins are pins two and three. Uh, excuse me. Yes, two and three. Three and four are the Y pins. Uh, four and five uh, are the X pins. Six and seven. Uh, are the uh, Z pins and 8 and 9 are the extruder control pins. So that isn't all that's going to be hooked up on here. There's also a temperature sensing resistor and a pulse width modulated uh, transistor module that powers the, uh, the heating element. But uh, what's cool about this Arduino is it's powered by a, an included USB cable. So you will be able to test this. I also am including software that I designed that allows you to test this setup. And so what you do is you'll install the Arduino software on your computer. You'll plug this USB port in here. You'll plug this in to your computer. And once it initializes and finds the driver, you'll launch my software, tell it what port it's on, and you will be able to test your accesses once you set them up. And if you want to set this up and just test it, Right now, you would hook up a motor uh, to one of the accesses and then install the software on your computer and then just tell my computer the G code, like uh, G1, X10, Y4, for example. And it will cause it to move the motor the equivalent of 10 millimeters X and 5 millimeters Y. And uh, uh, the program I have also tells you what this Arduino says back when it communicates. So it's a good troubleshooting tool. Uh, this uh, is designed to also work with the uh, Replicator G and the RepRap host software along with my software so you can use whatever you want and there's tons of people that are uh, that know this project RepRap.org project and will be more than willing to help. So uh, in a nutshell that is how the electronics for this work, and I will show some more videos later, but 
for now, just realize that uh, you, if you want to use the Arduino with this, and you want to use USB, otherwise you need to use a parallel port, uh, you will need to have this cable that I will send you. I'll have it all soldered up. Uh, you may need to re-solder because I had one pin come unsoldered, so be prepared to solder. You shouldn't need to, but in case you see something that's not wired the way it should, you can re-solder it. Uh, so uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and pin 25 are used. 25 is used because it's a ground connection and it goes to ground on the Arduino. 2 to 2, 3 to 3, 4 to 4, 5 to pin 5, 6 to pin 6, 7 to pin 7, 8 to pin 8, 9 to pin 9. So that's how you, you uh, wire up the parallel port uh, wires to the Arduino and then you plug this in into the board and that is how this wires up and this USB port goes and connects to your computer and my software talks through the Arduino to the CNC board.